everyone, it's Amanda here with your 2017 RuneScope. Um, I wanted to take a moment, first of all, to thank all of my subscribers, those of you who, uh, also those of you who like, share, comment on my videos. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Um, and especially want to give a shout out to uh, anyone who has ever gotten a private session, a private reading from me. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, for trusting me to read for you. Um, a special shout out to uh, my regulars. You know who you are. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, this is the yearly overview for all of 2017. I post one for each astrological sign, but I also post monthly videos, uh, monthly rune scopes for each sign. So if you are new to my channel, definitely click uh, the subscribe button here in the video or below the video, and that will ensure that you get updates whenever I upload the, uh, the new videos, the monthly videos. Um, those of you who uh, are already subscribed, you may want to double check and just make sure you are still subscribed. I've heard that Google's going through and unsubscribing accounts that they consider inactive. I don't really know what that means and I don't really know what it takes to be considered inactive, but um, definitely make sure that you are still subscribed so that you're getting uh, my updates and not missing any videos. Um, now, those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, have been following me for a while, you know that this video, the, the yearly overview, normally uh, replaces the January RuneScope. I don't normally do a January RuneScope. However, this year I have uh, done a January scope. They're available over on my Vimeo On Demand page. Uh, you can just click or tap show more beneath the video and follow the link over there and that's available there and it's the January rune scope plus the spiritual guidance card all in one so you get uh, you get both uh, I had a lot of requests for that last year so I decided to go ahead and do that your, your of course your career 2017 uh, rune scope is also over there uh, if you want to take a look at uh, specifically career finance money all that good stuff and what's going to be going on for your particular astrological sign in that area. Those are available over there as well. Uh, your love scope for 2017, your love room scope will be coming up in time for Valentine's Day. I should get those posted at the end of January, around the same time I post the uh, the February room scopes here on YouTube. So uh, those are coming. Uh, so I also, those of you that are interested in learning about the runes, I do offer an online rune class a few times a year, kind of just based on demand. If you would like more information about that, just drop me a line at runescopes for you at gmail.com. That's the number four in the letter U. You'll find that here in the video and below the video. Uh, for your 2017 rune scope, I will be using in conjunction with the runes, the medieval Scapini deck. It's a beautiful deck. A classic deck. Uh, it's by Luigi Scapini and named for him. We're going to do the first six months with uh, one or the other, the runes or uh, the tarot. They're going to kind of let me know, uh, you know, which order they want to do it for each sign. But uh, so we'll do half the year with the runes, half the year with the tarot and see what's coming up for you. Uh, so let's dive in to 2017. Welcome to 2017 Libra. The runes wanted to go first with you, as they have on almost all these readings. I think um, the tarot only wanted to go first once or twice. So anyway, I'm going to use the runes to cover January through June for you, and then we'll go to the tarot for July through December. So let's cast the runes for Libra, January through June of 2017. What are you going to be up to, Libra? Now, as always, these are general readings, Libra. Do keep that in mind. So not all of these messages will be for you. Some will be for other Libras watching. Uh, if you would like something far more specific, um, you can schedule a private consultation with me. I do those on Skype. They are $65 for 30 minutes. Just drop me a line at the email address here in the video or below the video if you want to set up an appointment, um, a new year, Start of a brand new year is a great time to get a reading. We can check out how this, these general energies are going to play out for you more specifically here. So let's see what we got. Okay, Libra. The challenge or focus, uh, January through June of 2017. Um... You're, 
Your challenge may be to leave behind a situation that has been a disappointment to you. Um, it's almost like you've tried to make the best out of a difficult situation, but um, it just hasn't panned out or turned out as you've expected. Maybe someone close to you let you down. This with uh, Wunio in reverse, it could be a disappointment by someone close to you. You put your trust in them, you never thought they would do something and then they ended up kind of hurting you or just yeah, making you unhappy, disappointing you. Uh, with their behavior or something they've done. Um, and uh, it may be really challenging for you to forget this or, or move on from this, put it behind you. Um, that's what you're trying to do is uh, close the door on a relationship or, or close the door on, on a situation for good and leave it behind, move on from it. But, uh, you know, it may be... It may be a challenge in the first part of the year for you to uh, to do that or to leave. This could be a work situation where you you know you're like oh, I want to leave, but I don't have any other opportunities, so I'm gonna have to stay here and just make the best of it. But I'm really not happy here. I'm really this is feeling heavy and uh, difficult. Um, feeling kind of trapped here at the beginning of the year, Libra. Um, unable to move forward right now. Uh, so that could be an element kind of weaving in and out for the first part of the year. Um, as we move into January, move from December into January, we do have uh, Bjork in reverse. So this could be talking about health issues. You may be dealing with some health issues. You may, you may just not be feeling well. You may have caught a bug or um, just be under the weather. You could be concerned about a mom or mother, a mother figure, a grandmother, um, you know, an older mem female member of the family who's not doing well. Um, so health could be on the agenda at the beginning of the year, either yours or someone close to you and being concerned about that. It could be kind of touch and go. Um, if this is uh, at work, this with this rune in reverse, it just means you're starting the year off with conflict with people you're working with or people close to you. If it's not family member, it could be family members. Some of you may be encountering some conflict um, if you're with your family over the holidays and you kind of start off the new year with that kind of on your mind or, you know, disagreements and, and uh, just fighting arguments um, about silly things it seems for most of you. Um, others of you, this could be with work colleagues, you know, arguing over the best way to do something or arguing over um, changes that are being kind of forced on you. Uh, this rune, unfortunately, is speaking of maybe that's where this starts. It's like someone's trying to change things, make a big shift or change with the way things are done and you feel like it's, 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 you're very unhappy about it. You and maybe other people, um, are unhappy about it. Um, this could also involve travel. Like maybe somebody like at work is trying to get you to travel or go on a trip and you can't go or don't want to go or, <laughs> Uh, it's like, cause this is a journey you have to make, but don't want to make for some of you. Maybe this is like, oh gosh, there's a, you know, this person in my family is ill, but I, I can't make the journey now, or I just don't want to, um, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, we never know how long we're going to have people. So if someone in your family is ill, yeah, you may have difficult relationships with them or with someone else, but if someone's ill, and, uh, you know, you care about them, then, you know, you should go see them. I'm not saying this person's going to die, but I mean, you know, you know, you never know. Life is temporary. Any one of us could go at any time. So, um, if you would regret it, if that happened and you didn't go see this person, or if you would always kind of be, feel guilty about that, if it would weigh on you, then go, whatever you got to do to make it happen, make it happen. First part of the year here, Libra. Um, now the help that's gonna be available to you, we have need. So in reverse. 
So in reverse, need is all about failing at something like, or something's gonna seem like a failure, but it's actually a blessing in disguise. Or this could be someone else failing at something and it benefits you um, in some way. Um, so yeah, this maybe it's this new plan that's gonna, that's gonna fail or, or this new uh, venture, some, these changes someone's trying to make, it's gonna fall through. And uh, you know that's gonna end up getting you out of having to take this business trip or you having to um, travel to the other you know, corporate office or something. And uh, so it's like someone else's failure, someone else dropping the ball is actually gonna work in your favor. Or this could be Libra, like whatever this situation is that you feel has has been a disappointment, hasn't worked out, or this person, this relationship that was a disappointment to you, um, was actually a help to you. Um, that whatever did not work out, it was, you see it as a failure, but it wasn't a failure. There's always a lesson. We do not learn from happy stuff. We do not learn when we're in the job that's all fulfilling and it's wonderful. We do learn when we're forced to work with difficult people. We do learn when we're forced to, uh, you know, work in positions that are very challenging and maybe push us into situations that we're not comfortable with. Whenever you're leaving your comfort zone, um, that's a good thing. It doesn't seem like it in the moment, but that may be what's going on here. Um, here in the first part of the year here. Um, so whatever you saw as a disadvantage, something that you saw as a disadvantage or a disappointment is, is actually, it was supposed to happen that way, Libra. You may not understand it now. You may never understand it. Um, I think you will though. I think you will. What good would it be if you never understand it? But yeah, something happened for a reason and you, you know, you're going to see the benefits of that. Uh, it, it was a big help to you. What must be accepted? New beginnings are coming. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the second part of the year for you. Uh, second part of 2017. So the first part of the year may be um, just you kind of tying up loose ends, moving past whatever this, whatever didn't work out, whatever you tried and it didn't pan out the way you thought it would. There is a new beginning coming, but it's almost like you have to tie up these loose ends. You have to get this lesson. Um, before you can move on uh and uh, but you have your eyes on a reasonable target whatever your whatever change you're considering making whatever your goal is january through june of 2017 libra you can make it happen um and in fact you have a lot of protection around you for making this happen protection and guidance a lot of enthusiasm and um a lot of inspiration for a new beginning here. So whether you want a new partner, those of you that have left a, you know, disappointing relationship, um, or, you know, if you, uh, had someone close to you disappointed you and, uh, you know, maybe this is someone offering an apology, um, or a job that you were excited about initially and it didn't work out it turned out to be a burden. Um, you know, there is going to be a new beginning, uh, you're gonna be moving on from that. Uh, it just may not be for most of you in the first part of the year. It may be uh, July through December with that. Um, but there's a reason for the delays. So roll with the punches, Libra. Don't uh, question it, just go with it. Try to be patient. You gotta be patient. Um, maybe that's what some of you are learning is patience. <laughs> Um, it can be difficult when we want change, and but we can't, you know, we can't always make it happen. Let's move on to July through December here, Libra. We do have the King of Coins in reverse. This is normally Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, so your challenge, your focus could be this, this could be manifesting as a person. Um, so, uh. Somebody who is very uh, in the reverse, he is, he delegates everything. He doesn't really do so much on his own. So this could be a boss or a manager or somebody in a position over you, a manager who you feel like is kind of clueless, maybe about what you do, what the company does, maybe about everything. <laughs> 
and they may be making bad decisions and you're just like who put this doofus in charge um you may really have to bite your tongue when dealing with this person. Maybe that is, maybe it's the same person, this conflict that was coming up, maybe around, you know, like one of those people that's a challenge to work with, but you are learning how to temper your behavior, temper your communication and, and, uh, you know, uh, put on your work Libra, you know, put on your work Libra mask. Be like, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. This can just as easily be a female in these general readings. But um, this could also be somebody who you feel is being uh, selfish or, or uh, hoarding uh, money or like uh, blocking you in some way from advancing. Uh, you could be feeling that energy. That's a common energy. Uh, workplaces are so competitive these days. So, I mean, you're hardly alone in that boat, Libra, but that may be your challenge is like, you know, I feel like this person is holding me back on purpose, um, not letting me move ahead or work to my aptitude. Um, you know, and you may be right about that. Um, now as we move into, uh, July, so second part of the year, and again, these are general readings. So some of this stuff over here may be happening in the early part of the year and vice versa. Again, these are so many of you are watching, uh, definitely book a private session with me and we can narrow we can narrow it down. That will trump anything we talk about here uh, for sure in your general readings. But um, Queen of Wands is here. Uh, at, so like end of June in general, moving into July, early, early July in general. Uh, this is fire sign energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. So this could be someone who is really kind of rejuvenating your... Uh, enthusiasm um this could be someone who has a business opportunity a job offer this could be someone that really wants you to come work with them or work for them um this could be someone replacing this person so uh some of you may not be leaving this work situation like if the work is okay you like the work it's just the people or maybe this person in particular this person seems to be, you know, for many of you, replacing this person. So it's like your challenge is just to kind of deal with this person until they're out of there. Um, because I, I feel like these bad decisions they're making or this bad leadership, poor leadership, you're not the only one who's noticed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this could be someone who comes in and recognizes your aptitude, recognizes that you're more qualified with... Uh, for, for advancement than some other people. So um, this is a person coming in that's gonna rejuvenate your work situation, I feel like. Some of you, it could be a relationship. Those of you that date women in particular, uh, this could be a man as well in these general readings for some of you, but yeah, again, fire sign energy. So this could be someone who just kind of lights your fire, so to speak in a very real kind of way, since it is a fire sign energy that uh, kind of takes your mind off the work situation. So maybe it's like, okay, well, yeah, work sucks, but at least I've got this great person in my life or this new friend who's a lot of fun that uh, is very passionate about everything. Like this person doesn't do anything halfway. Everything that she or he does is all the way or they don't even bother with it. So, um, and I feel like you need that energy in your life. Um, it's going to be a very positive development here. The help that's going to be available to you is the three of wands. So um, this is, uh, you know, advancement. It is, um, it's like we're going to launch this new job. We're going to launch this new product. We're going to launch this new gig and see what happens. We're going to launch this new website. We're going to open this new business and see what happens. So, um, I do feel like any new opportunities that come in the second part of the year, and it could be a startup, it could be a company. If you're waiting on a company that has been in business for like a long period of time, that is, you know, more of like a reliable regime is the word they're giving me. Um, that's doesn't seem to be coming to fruition in general. It's gonna be something new. It's gonna be someone that approaches you and says, hey, I need your skills in my company that I'm starting, I want you to partner up with me. 
or um, you know, I want you to help me launch this. And uh, you know, you're getting in on the ground floor here. Um, seems like many of you are at the tried and true. Maybe you are at some big corporate monster, and you know, what's it gotten you but frustration and you know, bureaucratic disorder. <laughs> 10 bosses, none of whom really know what they're doing. This newer energy for many of you that when it comes in as a, a work opportunity, which I feel like for many of you it is, you should jump on this. Um, don't deliberate too long and should I stay or should I go? You should go. We've already talked about that. Um, now for those of you that this is just a new boss coming in and taking over, um, this is somebody who is going to promote you like she's going to see it may take a little while because when you've got someone new coming in it's kind of like oh god now i have to show this person to kind of start over from square one and show them what i'm capable of but it'll be far more uh quick than than what you had to go through with whoever this is um but yeah now some of you may be dealing with an energy where uh should i stay or should i go in a relationship scenario you've got Maybe this person who is, um, you know, a selfish partner. They're, they're always only thinking about themselves and then this fire sign comes in and it's really passionate and exciting and you're like, oh, should I stay with the tried and true or should I go? Um, so yeah, Libra, you guys can have a hard time making decisions sometimes because you can see both sides of things so clearly. Um, don't get caught up in the second part of the year too long with making this decision. Um, it seems to me with the wands here that the new over the old is going to be better for you in either scenario. What must be accepted? We've got the world card. So this is talking about achieving a goal, completion, leaving something that wasn't working behind and starting something all it's it's an ending and a beginning all at the same time. So for some of you, this could involve a global business. A startup that has a lot to do with the internet, an ability to reach communities and people globally all over the world. Um, this could also be you moving quite far with the world. This is no like jaunt, like I'm moving to the next neighborhood over now. This is like moving to a new country, moving to a new place that's quite far from where you are, maybe overseas. Um, but it's a positive change. Uh, for many of you, because this is a card of goals, recognition, achievements, um, this could be a place you've always wanted to live or move back to or relocate to. So this is the fulfillment of, a, 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 again, yeah, something you've wanted to do for a long time. Maybe you never thought that it would work out. If this opportunity or person, because some of you may be dealing with a long distance love relationship, this queen of rods, it could be somebody that you meet online or you meet, you know, when they're visiting where you are or you're traveling and visiting where they are and you, you know, um, you do the long distance thing for a while, but then one of you decides, hey, I'm moving. Uh, I'm moving so we can be together. If it's you, you may be like, oh, should I stay here again? Should I stay? Should I go? Um, Looks like most of you are going to make the decision to move. Um, but yeah, somebody moving like to a distant location and it being the start of um, something quite wonderful here. Now, at the end of the year, we do have a judgment in the reverse. So whatever decision that you make, Libra, I, I don't think this is a reality. This is all going in your head, but you're second guessing yourself. You're letting the doubts kind of crowd in. You're thinking, oh, I don't think this was the right decision to make. Or, um, <laughs> because I, I feel like you take a big leap and, um, you know, you leave a job that's not fulfilling. And then, you know, at the end of the year, this may be brand new. You haven't had enough time to kind of see things through. Patience, Libra. Patience. Stuff takes time. Uh, you gotta let it unfold. Life moves very slowly. It actually moves quickly, but by our perception, it's like, oh my God, I'm a snail on the back of a turtle, the pace this is moving. That may be the way you're feeling <laughs> at the end of the year. Um, but again, this is all in your head. I don't feel this is a reality. 
Some of you may feel like you are, like you've been misjudged, you've been treated unfairly. Someone, these energies can always work both ways. So someone may say to you that that was the case, like, you know, that they thought you misjudged them or were too judgmental, critical of them. Um, that can be kind of a, somebody saying that to you. Um, this can also have to do with uh, an actual legal settlement. You may feel like there's a decision made. If you have anything legal pending, any kind of settlements, judgments that are coming from an official government capacity, you could feel like there's something going on that's unfair. The decision is unfair. Uh, and it may be with judgment in reverse. So you may need to appeal that or see what other recourse you have for rectifying that if it's in like the mundane actual sense of a judgment being rendered. Um, you may need to look and see what other course of action you can take to get a, re a reconsideration or an appeal. Uh, some of you, it may have something to do with because you're moving and many of you may be moving to another country. It may have something to do with the way that you have to kind of deal with like the green card situation or immigration or moving somewhere or work visas. You may feel like maybe you're denied something and, um, you know, it comes through at the end of the year and you're like, great, now I've got it. <laughs> maybe for some of you, this is just like a botheration. Um, uh, an annoying thing that comes through. It's like you can get it taken care of or you can go to another step, but it may just be, you know, at the end of the year, you're like, oh my gosh, things were going so well. And now I've got, I'm going to have to like deal with this paperwork or, you know, maybe talk to someone, get some advice on how to deal with this situation. So that's what I see here, Libra, for 2017. Second part of the year looks good. Just kind of expect maybe something at the end where you feel like, you know, that's unfair and I've now got to take it up to another level. But I do feel like you can. Like this isn't the final judgment on the situation. This isn't the final say. So it does seem like there's another tier, another level that you can go to um, and uh, have this rectified. It's just, you know irritating and kind of a hassle but so 2017 libra that is what i see again the new over the old new relationships over the old new job over the old definitely smaller startups over big corporate giants because you've already done that most of you um even if you haven't already done that. <laughs> I mean, I would follow this queen of wands because she knows how to get stuff done. She knows how to start things. She knows how to get the word out and whatever she does, it's going to be successful. Um, definitely a good person to be in cahoots with. So good luck, Libra. Happy new year once again, and I will see you back here next month.